Hello, Maurice Demba is my name. Please welcome to 2, 2D Drawing Generation, which represents the part six. And it is the final presentation of fuel station structure modeling. Welcome once again to this presentation. This is the model that we want to generate, the 2D. The 2D drawing generation we are interested in is, uh, is actually uh, the 3D and, uh, and elevations. Now we'll start with the elevations and the elevations we, we will generate from the plan view of this. We'll just start off right here by highlighting everything here. We'll come to drawings and report and come to create drawings. Under create drawings, come to GA drawing. On GA drawing, we want to go to plan at zero zero level. We we'll just create click. It is as simple as that and close this. Once you've done that, you go back to drawings and report this and come to drawing list under drawings and report. Click drawing list. You will find your drawing inside there. There are two here because I previously, I previously generated one. So it has overwritten the previous one. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just click one of these because all of them are similar. I just double click on the first. I'll give it time to open up. I'll minimize this. I'll come here. This is the plan view of the foil station structure. Now from here, I want to generate this view and this view. It's quite simple. Just follow my steps. I'll come to view. Under views, I'll pick section view. I'll click that. I want to see a sectional view from here. Let me just place it here to cover all this. I'll click here and click here. I'll cover the whole part that I want to extract my sectional view. I'll cover that hole and click it there. I'll cover everything here. Just zoom out. Zoom out and click there. Click there. Then this is the camera. I'll face. There are two triangles there. The one on my right and the one facing this. This is the focus of the camera. I'll focus like this and click that. Once I've clicked that, I'll be able to, you know, to click on this gray rectangular. Click on it and hold by pressing your left button on the mouse and drag this slightly slightly away from it. Now, you see this uh, red boundary? You can click on this at the corner here and drag it upward to open that elevation to its full length. That's it. But if you zoom closer, it's like the, sh the, the structure has been sectioned, which is not right. The reason why it is behaving like this, or we are seeing it like, like a sectional view, is because if I click, if I click, if I click here, you'll see this rectangular boundary covering this and this is cutting on the cantilever or an, an extension of 
the fuel station structure. Now what I'll do, I'll just click at the corner here and drag it outside so that it doesn't interfere with these extensions. That's why it's cutting across, the view is cutting across to dupe you or confuse you with an a sectional view which is not right. Now do the same here and drag this slightly out. Click here and drag this slightly out like that. Do that. Drag it closely inside. Drag it out and drag this out. Perfect. Now if I double click on this and open this further, I'll double click on this I double click on that and come to death down. I'll, t I'll, I'll increase this maybe to 30. I'll click modify. Wait for it to respond. Apply. And accept. Just open this up. There you are. But the sectional view is still visible. What we can do, we'll delete this and generate a new one. As I demonstrated previously, I came under views and sectional view. I want to get an elevation from here. Let me try this. Click there and make sure you cover everything there and come to this end. And this is my camera. The two triangles, the one on my right and the one facing the model. I'll click there. I'll click here. That's it. I'll click on this gray rectangular boundary and press my left button on the mouse and drag it aside. What I'm going to do next is just to click on this on this boundary click on it, press your left button and drag it up, wait for it to, res to respond, there it is, double click on this, double click on that, just wait for it and come to attributes and adjust the scale. We'll give it a scale of 50. 1 to 50, apply and accept. Give it an OK. There you are. Now I'll drag this slightly up, right there. Now from here, you can do some bit of dimensioning. I can click on top there and run all the way to this spot and come to the initial spot and finalize it there. This is my dimension, double click on that. Okay, you come to appearance and change this. You can change the font if you like by clicking on the font. I may give it this. Yes, come up. Curio new. Regular. 
I'll apply that, change that color to black. You can change the font size, maybe to three. Modify, apply, and accept. It has changed. As simple as that. Click on the dimension, press your left button on the mouse and drag it down. You can do the same here. Click on that, click on that and back on your initial spot. Drag this out by press by, by uh, clicking on the dimension and press your left button on the mouse. You can come here and just click on the full length of this and end it there. Come back to the initial spot. Drag that and pull it aside or put it in same line with this. You can come back again and click this and click that. Come to your initial spot. Just do the same thing. It is as simple as this. Come to horizontal dimensions. Click that, click that, click that, click that, click that, and that. Come to initial spot and click there. There you are, drag it up. Come to vertical, you can click this, click that, and on the, on the initial spot, you can place it there. Come to vertical dimension, there you are, simple. Now I want to get this view again, I'll come to views, I'll come to section, I'll just click on that end and this end and make sure I cover the whole model. Open that up and close it. I want this view here. I'll click that and drag this to this end. I'll click on this rectangular that covers what I've just sectioned and this is the result and open it up by click and drag up. Just give it time to open up. There it is. This is side view. Now with dimensions You can do as I have demonstrated on this. Sectioning, just come on the view, just click here and click here and make sure you cover everything like that. And that is the camera. You drag this and bring it down here and you can open it up. This is the section and we cannot place it here because the space is very small. Now we will delete this and that is how to section this and this is how to get these side views or elevations of this. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Maurice Dimba and continue watching the channel. If you're new, don't ever forget to subscribe for more videos to come. And bye-bye. Let's meet on the next presentation. I'm Maurice Dimba. Once again.